Good morning dear friends and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and welcome to this brand new uh week. The one day is past and this is the second day of this new week. And what a joy it is for us to begin this day uh thinking and meditating just even for a very few minutes the voice of God. And so let us listen to his voice. Remember the word of God is the voice of God. Today I would like to meditate with you a passage found in the book of Revelation chapter 3 uh, chapter 1 verses 1 to 3. Let me read it for you. The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. who testifies to everything he saw that is the word of god and the testimony of jesus christ and jesus christ blessed is the one who reads the words of this prophecy and blessed are those who hear it and take to heart what is written in it because the time is near now this is a very important passage for us to meditate on this morning because in this passage of scripture there are the, uh, the, the which is the first paragraph of the first chapter of revelation which ends this chapter this particular passage ends with a threefold blessing and these threefold blessings is upon those who read and those who listen and also those who obey and so i'm going to meditate with you the blessed of the lord who are they first of all the man who reads the words of these prophecies is blessed uh, the reader here mentioned is not private reader but the man who publicly reads god's word the scriptures this implies the practice of reading scriptures aloud in the assemblies apostle paul in his letter to timothy uh, instructs him devote yourself to public reading of scriptures this you read in uh first timothy chapter 4 verse 13 so it seems public reading of the scriptures is considered to be and it is a great blessing and also important and i think all the churches of the new testament must practice this publicly reading the scriptures uh there is a this is the blessing the first person to be blessed is the reader of god's word so that everybody in the assembly in the gathering wherever it may be can hear clearly and distinctively now why is it important to read the scriptures publicly never undervalue the power of the scriptures because the bible as it is is a living book because it contains the word of the living god and so the word is alive and when you read even privately the word of god it has the power to change you transform you and encourage you and enlighten you and illuminate you in your understanding of the power of god and and so my dear brothers and sisters and young people as well remember it is very important and when you read this living scriptures publicly you can imagine what can happen the listeners are going to be blessed too which we will consider next 
and i pray that your spirit will be strengthened even as you stand up before people and read let every pastor and every uh, youth leader and every sunday school teacher take it to heart to 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 inject the word in the hearts of uh, children young people and the adults as well because the word of god has a power to bring healing the word of god has a power to bring comfort the word of god has the power to to speak to you and uh, cast away all your fears and as you walk in obedience to god's word you will experience it personally in your life because the power of the word will have his work in your life and god bless you as you uh, you 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 listen to the word of god in your churches when you go and attend the church and god bless you as you read the word of god yourself and i pray that uh, you are your feet will be guided and led by the light of god's word amen holy spirit of god we need the holy spirit to understand your word and so fill us this morning with your spirit that we may understand your word and walk by the light of your word amen god bless you this is a great day enjoy your life